Good morning, friends. This is Heather from Hockfield Manor. It is sunrise right now. I was actually hoping that <clears throat> the uh, you could see the sunrise behind me, but there's a lot of trees um, on our way to the processor, so it's pretty much all country out here, and so every once in a while you have a break where there's a farmer's field and you can see the sunrise, but <clears throat> right now it's behind the trees. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we are on our way. Let's see here. Can you see it there? Sunrise. There we go. <laughs> we are on our way to the processor. I have coolers in the back. Jonathan's in front of me. He has our big chest freezers. <clears throat> this is how it goes. Every two months we go and pick up three beef and then usually in the month between that actually this year the month between that we have actually processed I think two or three between that so we're basically at the processor multiple times a month I know that sounds crazy but um, we're usually there multiple times a month because we drop off the beef and then we go or we drop off the cows and then we come and drop off the beef and then usually a couple weeks later we're dropping off another cow and then picking up the beef and then it's a couple weeks before we're dropping off the big load um so we make this drive a lot um but uh, a lot of times lately because we have more cows it used to be that we would go on monday mornings to drop them off or tuesday mornings but now that we're doing three um they usually have us drop them off on wednesdays and I usually do the farmer's market on Wednesday, so I actually haven't been able to go that um, probably for the past, I guess, eight, six to eight months. <clears throat> usually Jonathan's taking one, of, one or two of the boys with him in the truck to go drop off the beef. Um, but I always am doing beef pickup. Why is that, you ask? Um, because I am extremely OCD and organized and um, I can make the beef fit in the freezers in an ideal way so that it all fits. <laughs> so that's why I need to be there. Um, I will say that Jason is definitely my child and he as well is very OCD organized and stuff. Which is fantastic with the beef that we get, <clears throat> the processor that we use, because they have these, um, this machine that makes the ground beef more of like a square. It fits beautifully in the bottom of our, or you know, in the size <clears throat> dimensions of our freezers, our chest freezers. So that always makes us very happy. But the other cuts, you know, steaks, roasts, bones, you know, all that stuff is very lumpy and, um, and you want to be really careful with packaging and stuff like that. So you have to be fast, efficient, and usually that's me or me or, or Jason, but um, usually Jason's there when we're unloading. Um, back at the house. So, so that's what we're doing today. We're doing beef pickup, yay! Um, from our processor, um, I'm actually, we, we at our processor, they aren't allowing people to pick up anymore. So you can't come and pick up your half cow there. It used to be that you could. Um, so <clears throat> they just don't want to deal with like our customers. They want to deal with us. We are their customer. We deal with our customers. Um, so that's kind of how that works. Um, Cause I know a lot of people are wondering like, well, why do we have to pick up on the farm? Why can't we just pick up at the processor? Um, that's a new rule that they enacted, I believe this year. No one can pick up um, on their own. Either we have to be there, which um, is very hard to organize people's schedules so that they can, you know, take off work in the morning and get there when we get there. But um, or we just have to pick it up and then arrange to meet people. So um, <clears throat> that's that's kind of how things go and will go. There's going to be a change coming. Um, we plan to start taking two every month starting in the um, 
late spring, I believe beginning in May. Um, I think in May we're taking three and then I think we're planning on in June um, taking two and then for the rest of the year taking two. Um, so that would mean doing two every month. So again, like I said, we're basically at a processor two times every month, every two weeks, every every week or week and then every three weeks. <laughs> so it's a little crazy, but um, but I enjoy it. It's it's um, a challenge every time, but it's satisfying and um, especially knowing that our beef is appreciated and um, helping families as you know to achieve their health goals. Um, eat healthier, more wholesome. Um, uh, obviously, we've had that benefit for quite a few years now. But um, Jonathan's getting fuel, so I'm just parking off to the side to wait for him because I am full on fuel. Um, but um, it's been really awesome to be able to be involved in different families' lives now in our with our customers and. Um, I mean, a lot of people just want to eat cleaner, um, but some people are actually eating our beef because they have health challenges and, um, and having, uh, a major part of your diet, which is beef, um, having that, you know, getting it from the grocery store, even the grocery store, grass fed beef is not truly grass fed beef. So <clears throat> it's it's really satisfying to be a part of that process for people and um, be a part of their health journey and, um, and know that all of our efforts here on the farm <clears throat> are um, appreciated by these families. It's, it's really, really neat. So I just wanted to say thank you guys for letting us be a part of your life, letting us do this. Um, I do miss the days where I could actually be in the car with Jonathan and doing the meat pickups, but, um, but it's okay. It's still fun, you know, tail, tail getting up there. Um, and it's about an hour from us, um, an hour east of us. Um, so, you know, we drive together separately up there and then we both, we just have a system and we pack all the beef from their, their freezer into our freezers and get everything locked and loaded, fill up my van with all the quarters and halves. Um, and then we depart, he goes home to plug in freezers immediately. And I go do any drops that we're doing cause the extra beef that we do, the halves and quarters, that does not fit in our freezers. We um, very, very rarely have any extra freezer space um, as it usually takes between two and three of our freezers to hold a whole cow. So uh, that's kind of the challenge and why we're always, you know, all of our information about getting a half or a quarter. Um, you definitely need to read everything about that because there are a lot of, um, unfortunately, there's a lot of requirements as far as you being available, someone in your family being available to either meet us, pick up at the farm or whatever on the day that we pick up from the processor. And the processor is not very flexible um, in that uh, they usually will call us and because our order is such a big order, they will usually say, we need you to either pick up today or tomorrow. Or they'll call us and say, can you pick up tomorrow or the day after? Um, and usually by the time they've called, it's when they say tomorrow or the day after, it's usually in the afternoon. So we wouldn't have had time to come go make it there by the time they close because they close at 3 p.m. in the afternoon and they open really early but they close early so that kind of makes it really difficult for families that want to well I'll just get off of work <clears throat> and then come out to the farm well you know we're picking your beef up at three and your your meat is at our farm at four and there are no freezers to hold that and that really you know risks violating our you know um our commitment to having uh you know, our meat handlers permit and stuff, we want to make sure that that beef is getting as quickly as possible to its destination. So we do have coolers um, for halves and quarters, but we just, um, we need to make sure that that transfer happens as soon as possible and it gets into your freezer as soon as possible. So there's not really a lot of flexibility there. Um, it's, you know, there is, you know, usually we'll, by the time we get the call, there's usually only like, okay, I guess we can go get it tomorrow. 
Um, so it has to work through our schedule and our availability for, um, you know, having the, the truck available. Um, and there have been some times that we've done it separately. Like I will just go pick up our pay, I'll pay our bill, pick up the halves and quarters and meet people a day early. And then the following day, Jonathan and me will go in the flatbed with all the freezers and pick up the other two cows. That has happened before. And like I said, we do try and be flexible, but it just doesn't always um, work out that way. So <clears throat> here we go. Um, but it's, uh, it's just important to kind of read up on that. And, you know, we, we apologize all the time. I hate that um, it has to be that way. You know, not a lot of flexibility when you're getting bulk meat, but, um, you know, we're working with our schedule and the processor's schedule and freezer space and, uh, and stuff. So, so those are not very flexible actually. <laughs> so we need to, Oh, there goes the charger. Um, we need to just make sure that we're clear with people that when we get the call, um, when we get the call to pick up your beef, we really need to meet you that day to get you your beef, um, either on the farm or uh, you meet us at the farm or we will meet you um, at one of our drop locations. Usually that ends up being Cary um, on Harrison Avenue right by the Bass Pro or Wake Forest. That's um, at the shopping center that's called the Market of Wake Forest. That's where our Wake Forest drop is. So th that's usually where we're meeting people so that they can pick up their beef. Um, and every once in a while we'll meet, uh, if someone from further, you know, in Greensboro or Burlington is, uh, in Greensboro or Burlington is getting a half or a quarter, we'll sometimes go ahead since uh, our processor's more towards Burlington. We'll just drop down, meet them in Burlington and then carry on. Um, and then a few people pick up in Durham. So, you know, it's just, it's just easier for us to have, you know, a public space, especially because sometimes we don't know customers. That's the first time we're meeting them when they're getting a quarter or a half cow. Um, so it's nice to have it just be a public space for both, for everyone's safety <laughs> and convenience because we're actually driving to you. Yeah, it's a little bit more fuel and some farms do just farm pickup only, but we just find that that gives much less flexibility, much less flexibility. And so I don't really like doing that because then that means that you have to get to our farm and your beef is literally just sitting there versus in my van, I'm actually have the AC cranked on and everything's in the back and cold and chilled and, um, and I'm driving it at least close to where you are. Um, if, uh, we have, let's see, what did we do? I think we went and delivered a half a cow to Asheville. Um, and they paid us to deliver it. So that's, that is an option if you completely cover gas, you know, and, and we have the flexibility to do that. Um, but right now it works just to meet people at the drop points, um, or the, the drop locations that we have across the triangle. Usually at least one of them is closer <laughs> than if our customers had to drive all the way out to Gibsonville. It's not even Gibsonville. It's like way north of Gibsonville. Um, drive all the way out there or drive all the way to our farm. So we just find it's a little bit more convenient. So there you go. That is what we are doing today. That is kind of our processes and that is our future. So we are excited to process more beef for you guys. And um, it's exciting stuff. All right, have a great day everybody, bye.